Hi guys. Well, it was a gorgeous sunny morning about 30 minutes ago here in the end times in paradise in Garfield, Texas. And I was really looking forward to getting out in my garden and starting to plant my seeds for my uh, doomsday garden this year. And now, good Lord, the storm clouds are gathering. So now I got to get out there into my garden before the rain begins here on this now cloudy Saturday morning, March 3rd, 2018. But since it is Saturday, uh, to bring you my weekly clueless moron roundup rant, where I simply go on the pages of the mainstream media for more evidence that this planet's collective IQ, including the collective IQ of the mainstream media, heading directly down the toilet here in the end times. Uh, and since I did not have a clueless moron roundup rant last Saturday because I was interviewing anything but a clueless moron, uh, Robert Jensen, I actually have a double clueless moron roundup rant and have 35 examples of how this planet's uh, collective IQ is heading directly down the toilet. So all I'm going to do is just read the headlines. We're just going to read the actual headlines and you can figure out the rest of the story. Okay. <clears throat> just going to go down the headlines. We now know why Russia wants a 100 megaton nuclear torpedo. I think it is to blow up the state of Florida. Okay, what is on Mike Pence's mind? Abortion to be illegal. Mike Pence's prediction that abortion, at the rate we're going, will be illegal, enrages readers. Let's go over to Scott Pruitt. Scott Pruitt just gutted rules to fight the nation's second biggest toxic pollution. That would be this nasty shit called coal ash. You know, this toxic ass nasty shit product of coal mining. Uh, just go ahead and dump your fucking coal ash wherever you want to. But on a larger scale, what is EPA, uh, head of EPA, Scott Pruitt, really uh, talking about here? Scott Pruitt, Bible says, quote, harvest the natural resources. Yes, our Bible thumping EPA head uh, talking about he takes his direction, not from Donald Trump, but directly from God to harvest the planet's resources. You know, at least those resources that can be found under about 300 trillion tons of coal ash. What is on the minds of Ben Carson? <laughs> Long as we're going through, uh, through Trump's buddies. Ben Carson desperately trying to return $31,000 in custom dining room furniture. Uh, I guess Ben Carson in, in some hot water after spending $31,000 of taxpayers money for a new dining table, a mahogany. You know, mahogany, a, a critically endangered rainforest hardwood. Uh, $31,000 of taxpayers' money so we can put a critically endangered rainforest hardwood product uh, in Ben Carson's office. I can't even remember who this guy Wilbur Ross is. Is he the Commerce Secretary? Don't hear much about Wilbur. What's on Wilbur's mind? Wilbur Ross floats moon as space gas station. 
There you go. The moon as gas, as space gas station. Okay. Uh, of course, the number one biggest story on the planet is the school shooting. So we have to have a few headlines from this never-ending story. Brother of Florida school shooter regrets bullying him. All right. From the brother to the CEO of the gun maker that this little fucker used. CEO of gun maker that produced Florida shooter's weapon. Quote, I share our nation's grief. All right. <laughs> Several versions of this story. Massive anti-gun rally bumped from National Mall for student talent show. Alright, uh, for all of you YouTuber conspiracy wackos, a conspiracy theory about a Stoneman Douglas student reaches number one on YouTube before YouTube ripped it down. Uh, the number one biggest st story trending on YouTube uh, was one of these right-wing conspiracy theories about these students being these paid actors. And I gotta be real careful about even talking about this subject. Uh, and I'm gonna move on right now. Okay, let's go over to uh, what is on the minds of Big Oil. Chevron says its business is resilient to climate change. We'll talk more about that on Monday. Go from Chevron to NASA. NASA's $1 billion tower is leaning. This is how $1 billion of your taxpayers' money going for one of these, I don't know if it's a rocket launch tower or not, that is leaning. So if it is a rocket launch tower and it's leaning, we don't need Vladimir Putin uh, taking out the state of Florida with rockets and whatnot. We have NASA taking out the state of Florida. Anyway, as long as we're uh, out there flying around the conspiracy skies, MH370 mystery continues. Top 10 conspiracy theories on the doomed jet four years, four years after disappearance. So we are now into year number four uh, with this planet talking about an airplane that disappeared into the ocean four years ago. You will find more, more news on an airplane that disappeared in the ocean four years ago on two days. Two days. Yahoo uh, headlines and you will find about climate change and we wonder why we are so fucked. Well, I guess if, uh, if, if the astronauts actually manage to blast off from the leaning tower of NASA and don't slam into the ground or disappear into the oceans, we got some good news. This is another way your tax dollars are being spent. How a new happy suit, a new happy suit would protect astronauts from the stresses of space. You know, talking about all of the, the, this, you know, colonizing space, all of the, you know, they could be spending years just sitting there in their little space capsule. And so to keep them from going crazy, NASA has developed this mysterious happy suit. I really want to get my hands on one of these happy suits. But right down here on terra firma, what's going on out there in California 
I always like checking in with California on these rants. California has the worst quality of life in the country, says new study. So this is this latest, you know, rating of the best places to live. I think Iowa. Did Iowa come out the best state to live? So they, they ran it through all of these various indicators of a good quality of life. Crunch the numbers. California coming in number 50 as the single worst shithole state in the country. And you can connect your own dots between this one and uh, that's, that story and this one. Authorize. California family lived in filthy plywood box. D D I. This one, I should, you know, I was gonna make this one my lead off, uh, my lead off headline. I might just, I, I might just make it the title of this rant. Direct. This is a direct headline from Fox News verbatim. <clears throat> anybody, if there's anybody who does not understand what this headline, which was not written by the Onion, was written by Fox News why the, the dots between this and the collapse of a planet, if you do not understand it, I don't know, I'm having a, obviously I'm not communicating well. Okay, 17 year old girl electrocuted, I mean dead, uh, 17 year old girl electrocuted as her headphones melted in her ears, she, her headphones in one of these, I don't know what it was plugged into, which gadget it was plugged into, literally, literally melted into her ears and electrocuted her. Anyway, maybe she should have, I don't know if she fell asleep. I, I can't remember. I think she did, though. I, I think she had fallen asleep. It, you know, I've been known to do this, but put your headphones on and, and drift off to sleep. Well, maybe she should have read this story. Switch off smartphones and computers at bedtime to limit pollution risks, says chief doctor, and probably will help limit the risk of electrocution by your headphones melting into your ears. Right, let's go over to McDonald's and I have to admit guys I am intrigued by this because I guess I missed I missed what all this excitement about at least three stories on the mainstream media today. McDonald's Szechuan sauce is impossible to get and it is causing an uproar on the internet, an uproar as people are in an absolute panicked rage that McDonald's is no longer offering one of these dipping sauces for their chicken McNuggets, the Szechuan dipping sauce, which my guess is about 90% palm oil. But so there are major internet petitions for McDonald's to bring back the Szechuan dipping sauce for the Chicken McNuggets. Not sure what the dots are between that story and this one, but there probably is one. I'm going to talk about this more on Monday. Indonesia aims to banish toxic waste from Lifeline River. You'll find out why that's on the Clueless Moron Roundup rant uh, on Monday. If you can only imagine what this river in Indonesia looks like. It, it is literally just a, a floating toxic dump. And the government of Indonesia is claiming that the water will be clean enough to drink out of in five years. Okay, what's going on with the selfie crowd? People carve love notes. 
People carve love notes into beached dead blue whale and take smiling selfies atop its carcass. Okay, as long as we're talking about clueless morons and carcasses, models, again guys, this is not from The Onion. I'm not sure who this is from. Models, fashion models, carried their own severed heads at Gucci's nightmarish Milan fashion show. All right, back from the fashion runway to the airport runway, quote, pretty much everyone on the plane threw up on gut-wrenching landing. From the runway, let's just hear uh, a few of the, uh, of, of the, the criminals of the week. Self-proclaimed polygamist doomsday prophet pleads guilty to child rape after police discover four girls in raid. I'm, I'm just taking a wild guess. They're talking about one of these Mormon doomsday prophets talking about the end of the world while uh, raping all of these young girls. I would uh, make a remark here, but I don't want to be the subject of a $70,000 lawsuit. Uh, anyway, as long as we're talking about pedophiles, serial pedophile with 300-year sentence freed on legal technicality and will not have to register as sex offender. I wish you could see a picture of this guy, guys. So anyway, uh, th this guy, I, I mean a major child rapist, uh, looking at 300 years in prison, but his, uh, his lawyer discovered that his right to a speedy trial uh, what was uh, his defense attorney uh, claiming that prosecutors violated th th this fucker's right to a speedy trial. So uh, they have no choice but to put this evil motherfucker back out on the streets. He doesn't have to register as a sex offender or anything else. He could be moving in next door to you and, and, and uh, your little girl. But uh, don't get those, uh, little, those little snowflake buttercups uh, panties in a wad by suggesting maybe we need to kill the motherfucker. How about that? That would be pretty speedy. Put a fucking bullet through his goddamn head. Minimally cut his fucking dick off. His balls, his dick. But no, the motherfucker, thanks to our criminal justice system, do you think the or do you think this uh where do you think this guy would be in China or Saudi Arabia right now if he was one of them fucking Muslims that uh, everyone likes to bitch about? This is a honky. Uh, th this is a good old honky, just like that uh, damn polygamous doomsday prophet raping all those young girls. Uh, cut their fucking dicks off. Anyway, let's see. This guy at least isn't, I don't think, a pedophile. Man assaults, man assaults gas station cashier with hot dogs after the cashier refused to let him buy beer. You know, and I've been through this shit before. It happened to me out in Truth or Consequences, New Mexico, uh, uh, a few months ago. You know, I was 57 years old and, and didn't have my ID with me. So this guy is clearly 
uh, clearly over 21 years old. There's absolutely no fucking doubt. Uh, this goddamn little cashier, you know, playing cop, refusing to sell this guy uh, his beer because he didn't have... Uh, the proper ID to prove he was over 21 and uh, good for you brother so he just what he did he he reached over to the hot dog thing and started uh, assaulting the cashier with hot dogs good for you brother fucking bitch probably deserve more than that this one gets really weird uh, I might have to come back to this one Canadian woman guilty of killing her baby ordered to take regular pregnancy tests. And the crime with some weird, totally weird thing called something like denial of pregnancy. In Canada at least, denial of pregnancy. Uh, something to do with the official term and this woman killed her unborn baby. And uh, anyway, it's a sick, twisted story. Moving on. Let's, what is on the uh, minds of the man who I can thank for this computer? This Dell computer. This is Austin resident, but maybe soon to be New York City resident. Uh, so anyway, the, the single most expensive apartment in, in, uh, in New York City history, over $100 million that some clueless fucking moron paid for an apartment in New York City. $100 million. Uh, and it was finally revealed who was the mystery clueless fucking moron. It was none other than uh, my fellow Austinite, Michael Dell. Uh, 100 million fucking dollars of his money. Do you know the name Robert Buchel? Well, if you don't, I'm getting ready to tell you Robert Buchel reality TV star of my 600 pound life dies while filming TLC reality show. Alright, what is going on with the royal baby?